church we long to be with you and Father how this is just a beautiful picture of that. We pray your blessings upon the ceremony now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Who gives this woman in holy matrimony? First Corinthians 13, 4 through 8, it says, Love is patient and kind, it does not envy or boast, it is not arrogant or rude, it does not insist on its own way, and it is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. 
loves, bears all things, believes all things, and hopes all things, endures all things, love never fails. So Moses and Susie, it's God's plan to have a marriage that is successful and glorifying to the Lord. So let me share with you God's desire for your marriage from Scripture. Jesus desires that both give 100% to him. Matthew 6, 33 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Mark 12, 30 says, And ye shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. The second is that Jesus desires that we love others more than ourselves. Philippians 2, 1 through 5 says, If there is any encouragement in Christ, any comfort from love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, and being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not to, own, to his own interest, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is, which is yours in Christ Jesus. Three, Jesus desires that the marriage covenant never be broken. Matthew 19, 5 through 6. It says, and therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife. And the two shall become one flesh. They are no longer two, but one. Whatever therefore God has joined together, let not man separate. So Moses and Susie, to be joined in holy matrimony, please join your hands together. To be your lawful and wedded wife before God and the witnesses present, do you promise to love her, honor her, cherish her, and leaving all others cleave only to her, and to be to her in all things a true and faithful husband, so long as you both shall live. Moses, do you so promise? Promise. And Susie, and taking the man you hold by the hand to be your lawful and wedded husband before God and the witnesses present, do you promise to love him, honor him, cherish him, and leaving all others cleave only to him, and to be to him in all things a true and faithful wife, so long as you both shall live. Moses and Susie, you were agreed here today to cleave to one another, and to love each other, for richer, for poorer, for better, for worse, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live. As a reminder of your commitment to the Lord, each other, and the world, you have chosen to exchange rates. The ring is a symbol of the promise that you have made here already. The circular shape will remind you that this bond has no end. It is, it is not based on when things are good or bad, but instead it's based on the firm foundation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The ring will also remind you that the marriage covenant is precious. It is precious to you and it is also precious to God, the author and the creator of the marriage covenant. The durability of the ring will remind you of the promise that you have made in Christ. He is always near and wants to be the center and the strength of your marriage. Your marriage will only be as strong as your relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. For the ring to become a symbol, it must be worn. So Moses... on Susie's finger. Repeat after me. With this ring, with this ring, I will always love you. I will always love you. Cherish you. Cherish you. And look after you. And look after you. You are God's gift to me. You are God's gift to me. And I thank him for you. And I thank him. Amen.
this ring? It's okay. I will always love you and cherish you and look after you. You are God's gift to me. Father, we thank you so much for the gift of love and for the gift of marriage that you've created. And Lord, I pray that you would have your hand and blessing upon Moses and Susie. And that their relationship would be one that we would be able to follow an example of that you would guide and direct them in everything that is holy and everything that will honor you. Father, I thank you once again for the opportunity to be able to be here and to share and be a part of the ceremony. It may be glorifying to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. As a symbol of your marriage covenant today, you may lie to you. Quisiera decir unas palabras antes de cantar este hermoso canto. I'd like to say a couple of words before we sing this beautiful song. Es un canto que se llama en inglés Together, Juntos. Y es un canto que viene de un musical de Navidad donde María le canta a José y José le canta a María unas palabras hermosas de, de, de promesa, de amor. Ok. Entonces, este, para nosotros es un privilegio participar en esta ceremonia y ser parte. Estamos muy orgullosos y muy contentos de estar aquí. Así es que la pieza se llama Together.
Deuteronomy 6, 5 through 9 says this, and she says, and You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And these words that I command you today shall be on your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your children. You shall talk with them when you sit down in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall bind them on the sign on your hand, and they shall be a as forelets between your eyes, between your eyes, and you shall write them on the doorpost of your house and on your gates. So, having pledged your faith and love to each other, and having your solemn marital vows and giving and receiving of rings, acting in the authority invested in me by the state, and looking to heaven for divine sanction in the presence of God and these witnesses. I now pronounce you husband and wife, Moses. <laughs> <laughs> Gonzalez. 